Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to start the Angular developer series. We will be using Angular 16 or 17 for our e-commerce web application. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a beautiful template that was available as free in the internet, which is this one. This is closely related to the e-commerce application. It's just that uh, instead of the other items, they're selling the organic stuff. But I'm going to change this to the Angular. And you can see I've already changed it. And uh, all what we have to do is, after we change this, we will be using one by one step and performing our e-commerce application design. We will be using this as a base design, but we are going to change all this content and stuff related to our e-commerce application. And that is what I'm going to start as a video series. All right. So without delay, come, let's get started on our first episode. Now let's get started with one by one step. So if you go to my GitHub repository, github.com slash learn smart coding, you will have a repository called e-commerce smart card hub web app. So if you're following my channel, I have already provided the microservices that is required for this e-commerce web application. Now having that as the base, we will be developing the e-commerce website, like the web application from this repository. So as and when we finish each episode, the completed project will be uploaded here. You can always rely on the main branch, but I will also start putting each branch for each episode. So you know where to start. What is the difference in the code? Now, having said this, what I've done is I've just Googled it and then found a free template. And this template closely matches to our e-commerce application. The only difference is this one is mainly meant for the organic vegetables and fruit selling, but we're going to change all of these photos and everything to our e-commerce web application. So it could be like we will be selling anything in the e-commerce site. So we're going to change all these photos and everything, but pretty much whatever an e-commerce site is required, this has everything, right? And then this closely matches to the design that I've already done. If you have not followed my e-commerce web series of the previous videos, I will put that in the description. So you will be able to do the setup for the um, the database and then the Microsoft uh, .NET Core Web API. Don't worry if you do not have all of those things, I will still hold the Web API in the uh, public URL. So you can still use that directly to just start developing the e-commerce website in Angular, right? So if you're just an Angular developer, you're not uh, you don't need to worry about the .NET Core uh, Web API. Everything will be hosted. You can use the Web API directly. Now, before we kick in and do some basic works of the episode one, so basically what I'm going to do is um, those who are new for this Angular. Basically, Angular is a powerful um, you know framework that is meant to develop a single page application. Single page application means the URL will not be refreshed, page will not be refreshed. Instead. The content of the page will be dynamically changed. Now, we are not going to follow the typical process of just going and learning one by one. Instead, I will try to put step by step so that you can follow along with me and you can start learning the Angular from the scratch. All right. So now let's consider this whole page. We have a lot of sections, right? So all of these sections, basically, we can divide into multiple subsections meaning this piece of code is a section like a piece of code and this one is a piece of code this the top header is a piece of code you see this navigation is a piece of code so we can split as much as possible so what i've done is if you download the repository that i was mentioning you will see something called web template under web template the organi master this is the one that i downloaded from the free website right it has the copyright information so be careful when you use this for your own thing you just don't need to remove the photo section of their site they, we just need to acknowledge that this was taken from them and give the credit to them so that anyone who wish to purchase a full template they can go and purchase so remember that whenever you use the free template uh, talk read about uh, the license agreement all right so this is completely free of use so we can absolutely use it as long as we don't remove the photo section so now I have given the whole template here, but what we are going to do is we are going to create an Angular application, which I've done it. You can take it from the repository and then we're going to convert this into our app. So how did I convert? It was pretty much simple. 
so all what you have to do is you need to uh, initially if you just open all of these things initially what will happen is you will have an app component and then you will have an HTML right the HTML is the code which will have the angular application so we are going to create components and split this piece of code that is what we are going to do all right so let's start so if you see the index.html that's where our uh, general component details are there so what we have to do is we have to go to the uh, the reference file right from where we are going to convert it so if you go there basically we are going to copy all of these assets files into our asset folder because we will be eventually referencing our own asset folder right so we copy pasted that so now you see all of these folders and everything is there now in our index we have nothing we directly have an app root app root is the main app component so what we are going to do is we are going to go to the index file where we are referencing we are going to copy paste the css and the a js file to our uh, place so if you go to uh, this index dot thing you will see the last one is the css and then you will also see the all the js file see don't worry first you have to just copy paste everything here and then make sure this is aligned to our url so in our case it is asset slash followed by the folder name now what you do you remove all of the stuff which is there in the app dot component and let's just put hi and then let's open up our angular application and see what happens right see all of this default thing went away we just have this word so now we are going to replace this with the template content so now i copy pasted everything that is there in the template index.html right within the body so that everything is here and then see i copied everything from the body and pasted and our angular application is now showing up everything here right except one or two sections almost every section is loading so this is what we want right see this this uh, you know most of the stuff is loading now this is the first step the moment you are able to get to this level which means you are referencing css and the js files are correct now each one of these sections as i told you earlier in the video each one of these itself is a section we can come change those into a component okay so let's talk about component that will be the first part all right now what we are going to do is we are going to open the terminal as a new terminal you can see that by doing that we will be using the cli command the first command that we will use is ng space generate space component space followed by the component name in this case i'm going to provide my component name inside a folder so component slash component name first one is the folder component the moment you do this the CLI will generate the component for us and let's take a look at the component. See component will have four things. Anything that is spec.ts is all unit testing. The first one is a component, right? So a TS file will be decorated with a class uh, on a component decoration. So it will have three things, styles, template and selector. Selector is the one that you will use it. HTML is the one which is a piece of HTML code. CSS is just the CSS meant only for the component right so now you got this now the moment we add this component that has to also be registered here that's why it goes to the the main module called app module under the declaration so under the declaration the moment we say there is a component called footer component under that module this component will be added as a registered similarly we will talk about more during the um, other feature about the imports and other stuff but what you have to know is bootstrap app component is the first one gets bootstrapped when the angular application is loaded now we created one component right so what we are going to do is we are going to go to the app component where we copy pasted the whole code we take this uh, single piece of code which is the footer code and then cut this and put it into this html okay so now we have split a piece of html into a separate place now let's load and see you will not see the footer which is removed now how do we bring back that footer that's why we are going to use the component take the selector and go to the app component and you use the selector as the component see the moment you use like this this component or this component meaning this piece of code is now added here automatically which means anything that you write in the ts file will be executed right now we do not have anything but we brought the html back here now what we are going to do is we are going to take this each section and create separate separate component and 
put these HTML into their respective components. So the, the next one is basically the um, block selection. So I'm just going to name the way it is named in the HTML. Later we will change according to how we want. So don't worry about it. I'm going to cut this piece of code and also put it into the new component that we created. So this is what exercise we will be doing it uh, for all piece of code. But in order to save time, I'm going to fast forward and see how it works. OK, so for uh, in order to go further, first, let's keep this app uh, blog section here. So which means when I load it again, that piece of code has come here. All right. So let's do this little quick. So we have done all of these things and um, we'll be doing this for all the sections. Now, there's one thing you should understand that is also called ng generate component. There's a shortcut called ng space g space c. So g for generate, c for component. You can use that kind of a shortcut as well. Now you saw how we can create a component using the CLI command and these were the components that we created under the component folder and all of these having a piece of sections of the HTML and all together we were able to finally form the final output of this page, right? This is our starting point. So this is how you will use the existing template to do all of this work. I hope you enjoyed this video. You now know how to start with an Angular application, how to use a free template and how we were able to use the Angular CLI to generate the components. And we also understand what are components, how they are organized. All right. So follow along with me for all the episodes. It will be very interesting and I'll try to give you as quick as possible. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!